morning on a chilly <clears throat> Minnesota late summer. Chilly morning for some reason. I'm gonna change oil on a 5.4 Triton V8. This happens to be connected to my 2007 Ford Expedition EL, Eddie Bauer edition. Things you will need. I already have the drain pan under there because I already cracked open the engine <coughs> well nut, but you'll need one vehicle needing an oil change. Three eighths in size socket, or ratchet, 16 mil socket, uh, about a six inch in extension helps out. You will need, I have every other filter wrench except the one that I needed to change this stupid thing. Uh, in this case, you got a Pennzoil size A. <coughs> Top socket, or uh, whatever they call it, a wrench, I suppose, to take the filter off. In this case, I have Napa Gold 1372 size filter, funnel. Light is not necessary, but definitely helpful. Mountain Dew is always needed. And got a case of oil. I only need half a case, six quarts for this. Like I said, I already cracked open. Let's see what size I needed. This is the first time I'm doing this. Got your drain pan. And... I can kind of see it if you know what you're looking for, but just on the uh, back side of that cross member straight up <coughs> is where the... Uh, uh, drain plug is. I'll crawl under there and take a better shot. Maybe if you see, you can't see. Kind of tight under here, but focus. Apparently not. All right, got to drain it out. Um, like I said, location. Here's your cross member. Um, for some reason, I'm blanking on what that's called, but. Let her drain completely. We'll go to the, we'll put the plug back in and go to the front side and show you where the filter goes. All right, go straight down on your driver's side. Oh, there's your hook. And get out a little bit. Trouble focusing, but that yellow POS of whoever put that in there is where your filter is located. Give you another reference tire go straight over and up it's not in a horrible spot i had a suburban before this and that was in a great spot that, except for the fact that it's in a super tight location it was so hard to get out it was easy to get to but just i don't know if you've changed one you know what i'm talking about so we'll get this bad boy up there spin her off and put the new one on I'll tell you now, thankfully Ford engineers get like put that nice handy little drip thing there. But at the same time, you gotta make sure you're when you spin the filter off, it comes off behind that too. So as long as you got enough big enough drain pan to catch both areas. Just a tip ahead of time. Letting that drain open the new filter. And depending on whose opinion you want to listen to. I have never filled a filter with oil before putting it on. Um, I suppose on some of my cars I could have because it goes straight up and it's not going to drain. But this one, let's see, if you can see, not only sits at an angle <clears throat> or at sideways, but also kind of shoots um, up too. So if you're putting oil in your filter, you'd have to put very minimal in there. All these refs is gonna spill out, but anyways, put a little oil on the seal. We'll do that in a second before you put it on there. It helps um, spin it on there a little easier. Obviously, hand tight, and then all Napa ones go another uh, additional three quarter turn. All right, like I said, you do. Uh, at least on this filter, other ones I've had in the past, you do like a one and a quarter turn, but this one was, you get really snug with your hands, do another three quarter turn, 
location of your filler cap. Another tip I've done in the past when you're draining, just pop your plug up. Helps get a little air on top. Helps you drain. Funnel. My recommendation is Schaefer's. So this one's full, full synthetic. Schaefer's based out of St. Louis, but you got a local rep. I guess use what you want, but if you want things to last, buy some good stuff. So we'll fill her up and start her up. All right, six quarts later. Um, some guys say you could turn it on and check level, but I don't think you get a real accurate reading until you actually get the, everything really nice and warmed up. So if you go somewhere, go to work, obviously. If it's warmed up, do a check on it. Um, hold six, I added six. Just shouldn't need to really check it anyways right away. So just make sure to pop this back down before I forget. <sighs> now in a little bit, actually gonna install um, some vent visors and then we're gonna hook it up to the camper and go camping but uh, I haven't made them yet but do see my reviews on installation of the street scenes grills and then also soon I'm gonna do a review of the uh, full cannon intake um, and then also I have a, a tuner that I'm going to install here shortly and give a review on that one see if we get any performance or mileage upgrades i'm not sure really much i'll give you a quick one on the canon not sure much of the uh mileage increase but definitely the sound sounds really mean so that's kind of awesome and i think it did pick up a little bit on performance i'm just not sure if it really did pick up much on uh, gas wise but can't win in every category, but uh, so this will conclude the oil change video on my 5.4 Triton V8 Ford Expedition.